Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, people, a uh, beautiful surprise today. You know the world is very small. I am in Rome. I wanted to find Mass, and I remembered of the Angelicum College. So I came over, and who do I see? The lovely lady. For those of you who watch Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, you maybe remember Renata. Uh, we're going to talk with Renata today, and we start off behind the patron of this college. Hello, Renata. Hello. 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 Now, my friend, behind us is a statue. Who is this? Is it St. Thomas Aquinas? Yes, it is St. Thomas Aquinas, our patron of this university. We are preparing now for the feast. We will celebrate the feast of uh, St. Thomas on uh, 7 of uh, March, only of 7 of March because, you know, uh, in January uh, the students are uh, preparing the exams and for this reason we have, uh, we have this feast on the uh, 7 of uh, March. So on the 7th of March you'll celebrate the feast of St. Thomas yes, Aquinas. Yes, I invite you for the Mass, I think about 10 o'clock. Thank you. And you know, you're inviting anyone who sees this video that um, they are welcome to come to Angelicum and attend the Mass to celebrate St. Thomas Aquinas. Let us go to the garden and we can speak more. Well, Renata, we are in the garden, the garden uh, at Angelicum. And uh, you told me there is a priest from Poland here. Is this? Yes, he is a Dominican. He's a Dominican. Uh, not only one from Poland, but uh, he is from uh, uh, from my town. <laughs> oh. He is a professor of theology. Ah, how of beautiful! Moral theology. Moral theology. Um, he his name is Richard Repka. Oh, <laughs> it really it is a small world. Now Renata um, showed me today another new place within Angelicum and it was the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm happy that um, we saw and we had a little lunch. Very beautiful. Today's mass was very beautiful. And you said to me that there is an English mass and that happens each day about what time, Renata? Uh, yes, it is, um uh, this mass in English it's in the morning after the, uh, uh, the after the prayer of convent. Oh, uh, uh, Lord. Yeah, the Lord is yes. Lord, Lord is. It's about uh, seven fifty. Oh, so it starts about ten minutes to eight. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, and it's in English, and so this is good for people who speak English if they want to come to Angelicum. Yes, because we have uh, here at Angelicum we have a lot. Uh, uh, Americans and uh, the people from all, all over the, the world who speak uh, English. Uh, we have a lot of uh, um, seminaries from the North American College. Oh, North American College. Uh, In the Vatican. And the Vatican and also um, located um, the mother house, the original house. Uh, is near the Trevi Fountain. It's in fact, it's really right near the other university uh, that is there. Um, I'll think of the name uh, later. But uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your your college, your university, Angelicum. Tell me a little bit, um, a little story. Was it a friary in the beginning? Was it who who started the college? Who began the college? We, uh, I just, I, I just uh, uh, told before that the, it, uh, the college beginning, now it is a pontifical university. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, it was in the beginning, it, uh, the, uh, the place of study was in the, um, in the, in the uh, church uh, uh, of Holy Mary, where is the co another Dominican convent in Rome. Santa Maria Sopra Minerva call it this church. Oh. Um, uh, where is in this church there is a tomba of uh, San Catrina da Siena. Now, St. Catherine of Siena, the tomb? Now, yes. 
and uh, oh please repeat the name of the church es Santa Maria Sopra Minerva it is in the center of Rome it is in the center Not of Rome very far from here 10 minutes by foot from here oh thank you for telling us that um, okay and so then slowly it be this became Angelicum and became the university and uh, yes and this is where people from all over the world come correct yes it is the unique uh, unique only place only university in Rome that a student can uh, study in an can study it um, uh, in English oh they, ha they can have the formation only in English so when there you are student that uh, who um, uh, don't know Italian <laughs> There are students that do not know Italian. <laughs> yes. Yes, funny. <laughs> oh, um, let us go. There's a beautiful statue of St. Joseph. So let us yes. move to that area of the garden. Okay. Oh, Renata, uh, right behind you is St. Joseph holding the Christ child. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, many people are devotee, maybe, to uh, St. Joseph here at Angelicum. Maybe there are many people who love uh, St. Joseph or pray to St. Joseph here? I uh, think, I, huh? Yes, because he's from the Holy Family and uh, I think uh, uh, there are also the sisters from the different convents they are, and they, uh, <laughs> they love especially uh, St. Joseph. St. Joseph, yes. A great intercessor. You know, we forget uh, sometimes he gets left out. You know, he's forgotten. Yes. Uh, but and he he is uh, helping us to uh, in the good work. <laughs> I think. Oh, he is. Uh, oh, absolutely. In our studies, yes, he's helping us in our studies. Well, he's the father figure. Oh, he yes. guided uh, Jesus when he walked this earth. So uh, he he has to be really someone who is a good role model, especially <laughs> for the young men. Now, let me ask you, Renata, over here. How beautiful and quiet your garden is. Do the students come? Do you come sometimes and sit? Of course, especially when uh, when it's cold, like today, uh, we feel just uh, primavera. Oh, <laughs> the spring and we feel the, the fresh breeze, huh? Yes, it is the, really, we are in the center of Rome and we, we, we are here in the silence and we can, uh, very often the students come here in order to read something and prepare before the exams also. Oh. I am jealous because it is such a beautiful place that you spend your time. Um, Renata, I'm just going to turn the camera over this way. I'm wondering, people, if you can see this view. There is a chariot with some horses and looks like an angel uh, on, uh, with wings there. Uh, yes, it is the monument in Piazza Venezia, monument of, Vit of Vittorio Emanuele. Ah, the, the one center time. Place, center place in, in Rome. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. I, I thought it was, I wasn't sure. And Vittorio Emanuele was the president of, he started it years and years ago, he, very famous. Uh, you have such beautiful panorama. Uh, you spoke to me about, uh, I think, a conference that's going to be happening. Or uh, there's something happening. Oh, let me ask you before. This, I think, will be fun for the people. During the snow, you went, obviously, to St. Peter's, you told me, for adoration. <laughs> yes. So tell I, the story. This is very... I like... Uh, I like... Uh, uh, Saturday uh, in the morning I like to be in the chapel in the Basilica of St. Peter in the chapel of adoration and uh, it was I think uh, two uh, two weeks ago three, uh, where it was uh, began to snow in Roma but really I didn't I didn't find bus and after in the Basilica uh, really I didn't find also exposition of uh, Holy Sacrament this day <laughs> So it was really, during the time when it snowed in Rome. There was a little bit of confusion here and there. Some things were closed. Yeah. Some we can uh, we can understand the Italian people. They they it's not ha that it's not every year that they have the snow. No, so very special. <laughs> but as you told me, your country <laughs> yes, uh, loads of snow. Yes, but this year in my country it's different of region, but we, we didn't have the snow. <laughs> it came to Italy, it yes. followed you. <laughs> um, before we close, uh, each day here Mass is celebrated and the students uh, attend and uh, 
people from the outside are welcome to come and attend your mass. Is that correct? Uh, of course, we are open for the guests. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 you can, uh, every, every, um, everybody can come and visit this place. And uh, sometimes there are the, co the conference open also to, uh, to the public and uh, everybody who are interested can come. Well, you know, it was such a pleasure running into you, um, just listening to you. I know that you are working on your thesis and um, all of us, the people at Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, will remember you in their prayers and that we wish you much success uh, on your journey because you are focusing on becoming, working with, there was a beautiful program that you are working, you want to work with, and that is for unity of the... Ch I am in a section, uh, uh, ecumenical section. Ecumenical section. I, um, for this reason I have a lot of courses about the dialogue with different Christian churches between with the Orthodox, with the Protestants. Um, today, for example, afternoon I have a lesson with a professor from, from Jerusalem. Uh, uh, he is speaking, he, he speaking about the dialogue with Orthodox Church. And we see, I know Benedict has put this, uh, Pope Benedict has put this forward. He wants to see more dialogue with the uh, different uh, churches and that we are really unifying, we hope. We hope yes, that this will be the working, case. But working. This, this dialogue, uh, this dialogue uh, are uh, the dialogue in uh, love and truth. For this reason, we uh, love and we, truth. We have to pray for the people who are in the commission, yes. ecumenical commission, because, for example, uh, um, the dialogue uh, of uh, commission international Orthodox Catholics jars. Um, is stopped because they are finding some difficulties to prepare the documents and they, they have the dates for next year uh, in order to continue this dialogue. They well, were obligated to stop and now we, I think we are responsible, we, we have to, to help them and pray for this commission. Well we will pray and you know many times we wait for good things. Good things don't come easy as we know. Oh, yes. huh? Well, God bless you, Renata. It was great seeing you, and again, all the blessings of God, our Blessed Mother, and of course, Padre Pio. Of course, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. Let us remember, as we offer this Hail Mary, for all of you who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, for those you are thinking of, for those that are close in your heart, for those who are alone and have no one to remember them, for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests and clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have the strength to continue God's work. For all our family, our friends, and our enemies, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals, and the jails, for all those who have died, our loved ones, for all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye.